When Jordan first came to me to ask for my daughter's hand in marriage, it was a fairly simple plan. Jordan had gotten a ring, and they were going to drive to the lake house, and Shane, my son, was going to take Jordan fishing. And while Mom and Sterling went to town to get the groceries, Jordan was going to approach me. And so I go downstairs in the garage, as told. And while I'm there, I decide to start cleaning my shotgun. It seemed like the responsible thing to do. So I'm downstairs getting all ready, and I hear him upstairs. And then Tanya and Sterling come down. They say, OK, he's ready. You can go up. He's ready to talk to you. We just gave him two shots of Jack Daniels. Hurry up. So I went up. We had a great talk. And Jordan, just like I told you then, all I asked you to do was love, honor, and respect my daughter. Sterling, the same thing. Love, honor, respect your husband. You guys are going to do wonderful. I hope God blesses both of you throughout a lot of years. Let me welcome you, for I know that it means the world to Jordan and Sterling to have you here celebrating with them on this most precious of occasions. What an amazing day for us all to come together. This the joining of these two beautiful souls and the bonds of matrimony. Here, we as a group deliver our support in the present, and we extend our hopes for the future as we place our commitment to Jordan and Sterling. And by bearing witness, we confirm and accept the wonderful occurrence that has already taken place. Come, Mr. Harry. Here go. My whole life, I've prayed the same prayer every night. Please let my future husband be just like me with the same morals, values, and goals in life in our marriage. Please protect him and bring him to me at the perfect time. Then I met you. When I see him, it will be. <laughs> and then I'll be calm. Because he's probably more nervous than I am. So. Today is the day I've been praying and waiting for my whole life. I could not imagine life without you. You truly are my other half and best friend. And I could not have been more blessed that God paired me with such a perfect man. Not only a perfect man for me, but a perfect man for our future children. I love you so much and I can't wait to walk down the aisle. Love, Mrs. Green. Sterling, when I asked you to marry me a little over a year ago, I knew I had made the greatest decision of my life. The months, days, and moments we've shared leading up to this day has made me realize even more how great the decision was. You truly are a saint, Sterling, and I wish everyone knew you like I know you. <sighs> Thank you for loving me, for me, and for always being there. If I had a bad day or just need to talk, I love you and I love everything about you, Sterling. I'm looking forward to looking into your eyes and saying I do. I love you with all of my heart and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. You look beautiful. Thank you. Little baby girl's all wrapped up, yeah. ready to go. I, Jordan, take you, Sterling, to be my lawfully wedded wife. My constant friend, my faithful partner. My constant friend and faithful partner. And my love from this day forward. And my love from this day forward. In the presence of God, our family and friends. In the presence of God, our family and friends. I offer you my solemn vow. I offer you my solemn vow. To be your faithful partner. To be your faithful partner. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. And in joy as well as sorrow. And in joy as well as sorrow. I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to love you unconditionally. To support you in your goals. To support you in your goals. To honor and respect you. To honor and respect you. To laugh with you and cry with you. To laugh with you and cry with you. And cherish you for as long as we both shall live. And cherish you for as long as we both shall live. I, Sterling, take you, Jordan, to be my lawfully wedded husband. My constant friend, my faithful partner. My constant friend, my faithful partner. And my love from this day forward. And my love from this day forward. In the presence of God, our family and friends. In the presence of God, family, and friends, I offer you my solemn vow. I offer you my solemn vow to be your faithful partner. To be your faithful partner in sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In good times and in bad. Good times and in bad. And in joy as well as sorrow. And in joy as well as sorrow. 
I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to love you unconditionally. To support you in your goals. To support you in your goals. To honor and respect you. To honor and respect you. To laugh with you and to cry with you. To laugh with you and to cry with you. And to cherish you for as long as we both shall live. And to cherish you for as long as we both shall live. For a marriage is not something said and done, but a promise whose fulfillment is acted out over time. For in the end, truth remains elusive, death a secret, and love a challenge. Life goes on neither more nor less incidentally than before. But one's hand is strengthened, one's way brightened. And so for Jordan and Sterling, we simply pray that the promise of marriage have a long and complete fulfillment and that their love is nurtured and shared by their family and friends, and that the seasons be joyous along the way. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> you're, you're a beautiful, wonderful person, and I wish the best to you guys. I wish many years of happiness to you guys. And I knew the moment I met you that you were, you were the one for Jordan. And I love you both to death. regardless of what the world may throw their way. This was clearly the case 17 years ago when Sterling and I first met. <laughs> Sterling and I know more about each other than we would probably care to admit, but we have supported each other through the bad times and treasured the good times. We've laughed together, we've cried together, and through it all we've been the best of friends. So Sterling, you are my best friend. are such a genuine and loyal person. I know that God crossed our paths for a reason and for that I'm forever grateful. I don't know where I'd be without my best friend, but I do know that standing here today on your wedding day is exactly where I'm supposed to be. I'm sorry. Jordan, as her husband, I know that you will take her underneath your wing. You will love her and you will care for her. You will pamper her and you will be the best husband that anyone could ever ask for. Because, Jordan, you truly are a gentleman with a very big heart. And I'm so glad that you're marrying my best friend. Well, everyone. 
and we'll raise a glass while I make a toast. us from evil. 